So this is take three. The first two, so the first one I didn't really like it actually. I was I felt I was looking at the screen, so I've switched over to using the webcam, and because um, I've been using my phone on a tripod um, up until now. In fact, I think I did handheld first day. I had a gimbal the second day. Switched to a tripod on the third, and um, so trying it on the webcam for day six of these video diaries. Also using a microphone on the desk just in front of me and actually trying to speak to the camera and not have my face on the screen moving around. This is take two actually because, sorry, no, take three. Um, the first one I didn't like. The second one I, I thought it went quite well, but actually I minimized the recording window from the webcam and, uh, and that just turned the recording off. So I was sat talking to a camera that wasn't recording for probably a good three minutes. I think what I did is I went over the weekend, so had a great time at Maker Fest, uh, sorry, Maker Central, which uh, had a, to me, felt similar in a way to a Maker Fair. So if you've experienced Maker Fairs before and um, which, are, which um, you know, I haven't been running so much since uh, the problems with, um, with, with Make Magazine financially over the last few years and obviously with COVID. I think that's bringing up again, but if you've not experienced Maker Central before, I, I would recommend it. I thought it was a really good event. I went with uh, went with uh, my sons, who are about eight and ten, uh, and they had a great time. They got to see some of the people they see on screen. Um, people like you know, so like the the, the people from uh, Kids Invent stuff, and uh, you know, Colin Furs was a, was a huge attraction. And um, but there was also lots lots to see and do. There were some you know some 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 great makers showing their stuff, and um, and it, it kept them really engaged. And for me, it was really nice to actually connect and and, and see some people in the um, in the maker community that I've not seen in some time, and also to meet some some makers that I've known from YouTube. Um, you know, obviously the the huge ones like Colin Furs was great to see, but also um, you know Karen, uh, sorry Kevin McLear. Uh, who's producing some fantastic content? So it's been, it was it was really good to meet him for the for the first time. Today we've been cutting orders. Say so we, it's me and some robots. We've been cutting orders again. Uh, so the laser has been wearing away. Uh, I was looking at the laser earlier, and I think it would be good to do a bit of a tour of that actually because it's just an eBay, eBay cheapie. But I've made um, a handful of modifications to it. Um, one of which was, of course, um, earthing the case so it doesn't buzz you when you are using it, which is advantageous, really. There's a CE sticker on there, which is uh, which is a bit of a joke because it's it's never passed any tests. But um, but yeah, I think it'd be good to have a look at that. Moving ever close, ever slowly closer to actually recording the video, which I meant to, which was looking at um, the Miar Microbit. So this is what we've got here. So this is the add-on board, and um, I'm, I've worked out a few of the shots I'd like to have, and um, and also actually through doing these, I've realised that the noise of a laser cutter doesn't pick up majorly on the mics. So um, I'll be able to film more of it than I realised because I spend most of the day with laser cutters running. So it always feels like it's quite noisy in here, which is always one of my good excuses for not actually um, recording anything. Another thing we have today is I've had a, a restock of um, Vital Maker Supplies, which is googly eyes. So in the last year or so, we've packed googly eyes with me arm kits um, just to add a bit of fun and whimsy. Usually a couple, but if you get one of these huge ones, you probably only get one in a pack, but still, I think you'll need one if you've got a huge googly eye. And um, yeah, I think that's it. That's me done for another day of these daily diaries. I think I'm just going to keep them standard one cuts straight to camera because as soon as I add editing in or something like that it just gives me an excuse not not to pu publish them um, I'll definitely work on, um, on on other content which will be edited down will 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 be cut um, but again that that was a conversation I had with uh, with Kevin this weekend that um, he was saying live streams work for him because again it just saves that that whole slog of, of editing so uh, so that's me signing off for a day and uh, another day of the of these daily diaries see you later